Guys, I did it. I finally did it. All this talk about making sure our diets are on point, that we're eating anabolic so we can be ready for when those pool parties come and knock in. Well, the pool party didn't knock. It kicked in my front door and shot my dog because I had my first official pool party of 2021. And I'm gonna put a picture up right here. Y'all tell me how'd I do? How'd I do? Never mind the glorious bronze tan that I'm basking in or the fact that I'm wearing sneakers right by the pool. But instead, take a look at what I've created. This masterpiece that I've molded with my anabolic two hands. It was a great event and what makes it even greater is the fact that I didn't have to suffer to get there. I'm eating things like chocolate chip waffles, pizzas, ice cream, the works. So I'm telling y'all, man, if you still don't believe in this diet and you haven't been doing it, you just gotta give it a shot. Be consistent, track those calories, and you're gonna be great, man. You'll be showing up to that pool party like Adonis or Venus. Venus is the female Adonis, right? And with recipes like the one I'm gonna show you today, not only are we gonna be eating good, but we're gonna be looking good. In today's video, we'll be making the thinnest crust anabolic pizza I've ever made on this channel. This recipe be as delicious, stupid simple to whip up, and once you're finished, that crust will snap like a cracker. If you've been looking for the best way to eat pizza while you're on a diet, then I'm telling you, give this video a shot, because I promise it just might change your life. And if you want the ultimate pool party physique diet guide right in your pocket, then check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Every one of my recipes in here broken down with step-by-step -step instructions, the macros, the calories, everything you need to succeed. I say it all the time, but I really believe if you followed what I put in here and you do it, you don't make excuses, and you work hard, you can have the body you want. And I really believe that, man. So hit that link in my description if you want to check it out. And you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So now if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Let's get to making gains. Now, in order to get our pizza crust super thin, what we're gonna need is a large burrito tortilla, but we gotta do something special first to make it work. So what we're gonna do is grab a large oven safe skillet, hit it with a little nonstick. Then we just toss our large burrito tortilla right down in here. And keep in mind, I'm using the Mission brand. These are about 200 calories per tortilla. I've not been able to find lower calorie ones, but if you can find one, that's gonna save you some. Now what we do is place our skillet on the stove. We're gonna set the heat to about a medium. And we're gonna let this sit here for about two to three minutes. That's really gonna let the bottom of this get crispy and really change the entire dynamic of what this tortilla is. So while we're waiting, I'll show you our simple ingredients. First thing we need is 61 grams of a pizza sauce. And I recommend at your store, just buy whatever store brand traditional pizza sauce they have. Your regular marinaras and some of the other sauces are gonna have more calories. For me, I think this has way better flavor, less calories, it's a win-win. We're also gonna need 30 grams of turkey pepperoni. In my opinion, tastes the same as regular pepperoni, looks the same, but you cut way down on that fat and you add even more protein. Can't go wrong with it. And then finally, we got 112 grams of fat-free mozzarella cheese. I always keep multiple bags of this in stock at the house because literally, once you zap the fat out of it, it's pure protein at that point. And this amount of cheese alone, it's 18 grams of protein. You can't beat that. So now our tortilla's been on here for a couple minutes. The underside's starting to get crispy. So what I'll do is just build my pizza right here in the skillet. Start with our sauce, spread it edge to edge. And once we got some nice sauce coverage, I'm gonna take my cheese and slowly add it on the pizza. I'm gonna start the outside and work my way in. It'll get a finished product, a little bit of swagger. Now I will say, there's not many things as satisfying as building a pizza and watching it come together. Especially one that's not gonna add to that gut. And then finally, we'll just take our pepperonis and get even coverage all over the top. If you use my measurements exactly, all your ingredients should be the perfect amount. And basically, we're ready to rock and roll. If we check the bottom of our crust, you can feel it. Not sure if you can see it, but it's nice and crispy. So this bad boy's ready to go in the oven. And all I'm gonna do now is toss the entire skillet in the oven at 350 degrees for about seven to 10 minutes. Basically, the crust is done. We just wanna make sure the cheese is melted, the pepperonis are cooked, and we'll be good. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, when I return, you're about to have the thinnest anabolic pizza you've ever had in your life. Let's go.
And boom, after a little trip in the oven, our cheese is melted and she's looking pretty. What we can do at this point is add some things on top. I'm gonna do some crushed red peppers, add a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat. And on top of that, a little bit of oregano, just a smidge. And then when it's time to serve, all you do is pull it right out of your skillet and voila. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the thinnest crust anabolic pepperoni pizza. And check this out, guys. I just cut this up, and you can see, look how thin that crust is. And if you look at the bottom, it's hard, it's crispy, and you wouldn't even know it was a tortilla. Not only do we drastically cut down the calories by doing it this way, but this pizza is delicious and one I know you're gonna love if you take the time to make it. If you guys made it this far into the video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below, help that algae. And before this gets cold, I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. It is go time. But first, if you're having trouble getting your daily gallon of water in, you wanna make it a little easier, perhaps check out Final Boss Aminos at finalbossformance.com. Could RGF 10 will save you 10% and two scoops in a jug. Makes the entire thing taste so good. We got sour Murak flavor available in caffeinated and decaf versions, depending on if you want some energy or not. But check out the site, man. Lots of good stuff on there. And as of the time you watch this video, we're about a week out from the Anabar restock and the new flavor drop shortly after that. So make sure you're following me on social media if you wanna know exactly when it drops. That way you can get your hands in the bucket. You don't want to miss out. All right, time to shine, man. Go ahead, grab a piece right there. Looking pretty, ain't she? Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. I mean, pizza's always good. Pizza is never a bad thing. What makes this so good, in my opinion, is when you bite into it, you get more pizza flavor than you do crust flavor. Because look, our tortilla is so thin, it's just a tiny bit of that flavor. So let's everything else shine through. And it's crispy and crunchy. Love it. And the real magic of this one is what we did to the tortilla. Putting it in the skillet and heating it up, letting the bottom cook. Makes it to where we don't have flimsy pieces at all. Just look at that. There's no fold in that. I can do that pencil trick. Is she wiggling? And to be honest, it's, it doesn't even taste like a tortilla underneath. It just tastes like a very thin crust pizza, which is what we wanted. And the most important part of succeeding on any diet you're on is making sure that what you're eating is stuff that you actually enjoy eating. Like a pizza like this. What I love about making pizzas like this is the fact that you cut it into eight pieces. So it's not something where you get a tiny little portion. This feels like you're eating a ton of food, but in all reality, we kept the calories low, the protein high, the fat low, and it really just made the best pizza choice for our body. Now in this entire pizza, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the entire thing is only 485 calories, nine grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. 485 calories, 52 grams of protein for me, this is a perfect meal. You could cut those calories and carbs down even further if you used a different type of tortilla. You could actually use a smaller tortilla, maybe a 100 calorie one, pack all the ingredients on top, and you're gonna cut those carbs in half. But for me, those Mission large burrito ones give me the perfect mixture of volume so I get a lot of food to eat, but still having really good macros. And I'm telling you, once you do that little hack with that tortilla, this literally does not taste like a tortilla. It's a trick of the mind, really. And ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. If you are a fan of a thin crust pizza, a lower calorie, higher protein pizza, you have to give this recipe a try. I'm telling you, if you made this pizza for someone and didn't tell them how you did the crust, you just said you made a thin crust pizza, no one would even be able to tell the difference. So give it a shot. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Tag me on Instagram. And you already know, if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated. So go back and get your updated copy. All my recipes are in here. Make dieting, make this whole lifestyle super easy. So when you go to your pool party, you can be filled with nothing but confidence and a sense of self-respect. Link down below, baby. Maybe you won't regret it. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Help that algae. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, there's a little bit. There's a little bit there, bud. Okay. Mm.